When we're dealing with the probability of multiple events, what we have to look at is if our events are mutually exclusive, meaning there's no overlap, or if they're inclusive, meaning there is overlap. So what we're going to do is take a look at a couple problems and see the difference between when we know when something overlaps and when something doesn't. So for both situations, what we're going to do is we're going to be rolling a die. And we're going to be dealing with the probability of rolling two different things, one or the other. For our first case, what we're looking at is rolling a 5 or a even number. Okay. So what you will sometimes see is, instead of written it out as a sentence, just see probability of a 5 or even. And for this one, I just want to sort of write out what our potential outcomes could be. Okay. So obviously, we roll a 5, that's going to work. So we could roll a 5 or an even number. So our potential even numbers are just 2, 4, and 6. So we have four numbers that we're concerned with that are going to fit this mold out of six potential sides to our dice. So basically we have four numbers that work over six and we end up with a two out of three probability we get either a five or an even number. Okay, so that's dealing with no overlap. There's no way to have a five that is even. The other situation is to have overlap. And so for this one what we're looking at is a five or an odd number. Okay. So to roll a 5, obviously we can just roll a 5. And to roll an odd, what we do is we could roll a 1, 2, sorry, 1, it helps if I know the difference between even and odd, 1, 3, or 5. So before what we did was we just added the number here and the number here. But there's overlap now. The number 5 appears both in the 5 and the odd category. So we can't count it twice because we would just double count it. So really the only numbers we're concerned with are 1, 3, and 5 leaving us with just one half. So the general formulas that we're looking at is basically if we have mutually exclusive events, if we have events that don't overlap, what we do is we add the probability of one and the other. So the probability of A or B, as long as they don't overlap, is just the probability of A plus the probability of B. If they are inclusive or overlap, the formula is very similar. We still have the probability of A plus the probability of B, but what we have on the end is subtracting the probability that they both occur. Okay? So let's go take a look at this last problem and see if how this formula works. So what we get is the probability that we roll a 5. Probability of a 5 is just going to be 1 sixth. Okay? Plus the probability of an odd which is going to be 3 out of 6, minus the probability of 5 and odd. Okay? Any 5 by default is odd, so the chance of getting at 5 and odd is just the probability of rolling a 5, which is just 1 sixth. So what we end up happening is the 1 6 plus 3 6 minus 1 6, 1 6 cancel, giving us 1 half. Okay, the formula in this case was a little bit harder because it's a pretty straightforward problem. But as we get into more difficult problems, it's really convenient to use this formula because each individual thing may be a little bit easier. There may be more of an overlap, which can cause a little bit more chaos if we we're trying to write it all out. Okay, so finding the probability of multiple events. Just consider if they overlap or not, if your results are going to sort of influence each other, and then just use the appropriate formula.